Hi, my name is Jim Ryder, developer of the Ryder Buckle, which is the safest and strongest stirrup adjustment buckle on the market today. The reason we are doing this video today is because we've had a lot of inquiries about how difficult it is to change your stirrup adjustment buckle, specifically the tongue. So we're going to show you today how to use just common tools that you probably already have around your house to change your tongue on your stirrup adjustment buckle. We have an assortment of tools here that we're going to use to remove this rivet. The most important thing in this process is drilling this rivet directly in the center. That way it will come out a lot easier and it will almost come out by itself. In order to do that, we're going to need two sizes of drill bits. And I'll hold this rivet up as a reference to the size. You can see that this bit is just slightly bigger than the rivet itself. The second bit we'll be using is this bit. And as you can see, see, this is bigger than the rivet body itself, almost as big as the head, but not quite. This will be the second process that we use. In order to dimple the rivet to accept your drill bit, you can use a variety of things, even a common nail. What we'll be using is a drywall screw that's used to anchor drywall to metal studs. Also, we'll be using these side cutters, which we will use to extract the rivet and also cut out part of the shaft on the rivet to the correct size once it's inserted. As I said, the real key to this is drilling the center of this rivet. So as a reference point, we're going to take a Sharpie and make a mark directly in the center of this rivet. That way it'll give us a reference point when we go to strike it with the screw so we know we're directly in the center of the rivet. Same thing on this rivet here, we'll be taking out both of these rivets and then we'll be replacing them later with new rivets so you can see that process also. So we just take a common hammer, take either our nail or the drywall screw, go to the mark that we've put on it with the sharpie, make sure we're directly in the center of the rivet and then we'll strike it with just a common hammer. Same thing on the second rivet, locate it right in the middle of the rivet head, strike it with the screw. This gives you a point of reference to start drilling the rivet, and as you can see both marks are directly in the center of the rivet. So we're going to take this drill with the smaller of the drill bits, and we're going to start very slowly and exercise a lot of control while doing this. If you don't, the drill bit will walk off the rivet head and into your leather and you will damage the leather while doing this. So as you can see, we only went far enough just to give us a place to start to use the second bit. Okay, so now we're going to start with our second drill bit in order to drill the head of the rivet off. So we go back in the same hole, start slowly, let the drill bit do the work. almost all the way through the rivet now so I'm going to slow down the drill so I don't damage the leather. Very little pressure is needed to perform this operation. As you can see in this picture, the rivet head has come off the rivet cleanly. Now we'll continue to drill out the second rivet. Just go 
slow during this process and take your time so you don't damage your leather. Still not quite all the way through the ribbon. I'm going to stop at this point. Take the screwdriver. Insert it between the tongue and the leather. And pry off the ribbon. As you can see, the rivet head came off. The next procedure is we're going to drill out the side of the rivet that has the burr attached. So the same procedure will apply. We'll take the sharpie, mark the center of the rivet. Then we'll take our punch and punch the rivet so we get it directly in the center. Then we will take our drill with the small drill bit. Go to where we punched the rivet on the burr side and begin to drill that out. As you can see, if you direct, drill directly in the center of the rivet, the burr will just about come out by itself. We'll do the same procedure to the other rivet. And again, the burr was removed by itself just with the drill. Now we'll take our spade type screwdriver, insert it between the leather and the tongue, pry up on both sides. And at this point, you'll be able to remove the tongue. Now we're going to show you how to reinsert your rivets. And as you'll find on your stirrup leather, you will have to put no new holes in your stirrup leather. The tongue with the rider buckle will fit the holes. So you line up the holes, take your rivet, insert it into your original holes through your new tongue on both sides. And for this procedure, you will need something hard, a piece of steel. This we're going to use a receiver on the hitch. After you insert your two rivets into your new tongue and your stirrup leather, take a burr that will be provided by me. And for this, we're going to use a quarter inch drive socket to drive the burr down onto the rivet. Take your hammer. Hit your burr slightly. And you can drive your burr down onto your rivet. Next procedure, you will take some cutters, some wire cutters, any type, needle nose pliers, side cutters. 
and you'll want to leave enough on your rivet so you can drive it down creating a dome shape so you want to leave about an eighth of an inch sticking out you can see we left plenty now we'll take the hammer and brad the rivet down onto the burr Repeat this procedure on the other side. Take a burr that will be provided by me. Take the socket. Drive the burr down onto the rivet. Take your cutters again. Cutting the rivet off and leaving enough to dome the rivet over the burr. This sets the rivet. You can continue bratting it until you feel no sharp edges on the rivet itself. I'd like to interject this, that the secret to this is marking these in the center of the rivet. If you get them marked and punched in the rivet, the center, and you drill in the center of the rivet, you should have no problems with this. Same thing applies to this. Use a Sharpie, make your mark in the center, and take whatever you decide to use, center punch that, and then be begin drilling in the center. This procedure is very important. It'll save you a lot of frustration in changing out the tongue and adding your new rivets. And that is all. If you need any further instructions, feel free to contact me at any time. My phone number is on the website, and you can always contact me at that phone number. Thank you.